Hello everyone and Happy New Year! Happy 2020, a new decade and my year of change. This is my very first YouTube video and I am both super excited and terrified at the same time. And this is just an introduction video to tell you about my year-long project. In this video, I'm just going to tell you the who, what, where, why, and how, and I hope that you will join me on this journey. So without further ado, let's get into this project of mine and let me tell you all about it. My name is Natalia Lavrova. I live in New York City and I'm a concert pianist and music school owner. What is my year long project? I am doing a no buy in the categories of makeup, skincare, clothes, and shoes and accessories. There will be a couple of exceptions and some replacement only type rules, which I will get into in another video. But basically, that is my year long project. I am committing to not purchasing anything for the entire year of 2020. Where is this project taking place? Well, anywhere where I happen to be. Um, as I mentioned, I live in New York City, and of course, primarily this project will be here. I will have some traveling coming up this year. I have a performance tour in South Africa, and in a future video, I will elaborate more about possibly giving myself a few little exceptions, including uh, some traveling. Maybe I want to buy one special item to remember my trip by. Um, but other than that, I will primarily be based in New York City, and that's where the project will take place. When? Well, the whole entire year, from January 1st, which started about nine days ago, all the way through December 31st of this year. Why am I doing this project? There are many reasons. Let me run down through some of them, and others I'm sure will come up throughout the year that I am probably not even aware of. The first and main reason is I believe I have some unhealthy shopping habits that I've had for a really, really long time. I have some history of debt, and one of the main things that I would like to break the cycle of is um, being a deal hunter. And I don't mean that I don't you know, ever want to be shopping sales, by no means. I will, in fact, almost always only purchase things on sale. But I feel like sometimes if I see something on a really great deal, whether I need it or not, I feel like I have to have it. And this is one of the things that I'm trying to change this year because at the end of the day, whether we spend $10 or $100 on an item, we're still spending money. And that's the mentality that I need to follow through on and, and really be mindful of. So unhealthy shopping habits and a history of debt would be reason number one. Paying off my credit card debt is definitely another reason. Instead of uh, spending money on new things I don't need, I would like to take that money and put it towards really good use to start paying off my credit card debt. If I accomplish that this year, and that already would be a huge feat for me, I would be so happy if I cleared my credit card debt this year. But if there is still time left over, I would like to start chipping away at my school loans. And then the third reason, at least for this year, and again, there are many other goals I have in my life for the future, but the third reason would be to start building some healthy savings. I'm a freelance musician and a small business owner, and of course, I don't have a corporation to rely on to help me with things like savings accounts and 401ks. I know very little about that. I would like to start learning more about those things and to start taking ownership of my finances. Another really big reason that I would like to curb my spending and my shopping habits even more so is time. Time that I would like to invest into myself this year as opposed to into browsing online stores or going into Sephora and Ulta and TJ Maxx and Marshalls and whatever else and browsing uh, on end all the clearance racks in hopes that I'm going to score some incredible deal or, you know, going and swatching half the store. I'm sure if you love beauty and fashion as much as I do, you can relate to these things. But yeah, definitely investing more time into myself is a big, big thing for me this year. I'd like to change a lot of habits, um, hopefully not just my spending habits. There will be future videos that I'm sure will touch on a lot of these things, but just some things I wrote down for myself. So I apologize, I'm gonna be looking down into my notes, but practicing 
as I said, I'm a concert pianist. I have a big tour coming up in April in South Africa. I'm extremely excited, but I also have a lot of repertoire to learn and I need to spend a lot of time at my instrument in addition to being a small business owner and teaching six days a week. So that's already a lot. And I just, um, as it is, not gonna have too much wiggle time to be doing, I don't wanna say frivolous things. I mean, I enjoy shopping, but it is, I guess in comparison, a frivolous uh, time draining activity. Also, please excuse all the swallowing and the sniffling and uh, the weird voice. I have been struggling with a really bad cold all week and I just don't want to put this video off any longer as it is. This has been something I've wanted to do for a long time. Um, you know, even before January 1st came around and I just kept chickening out. So I decided since I'm home all week, um, I've had a little bit of time to do a little research and prep. And finally, I just decided I'm going to press this record button and go for it. So I apologize for my voice. I apologize for the fact that I'm constantly stopping and starting and swallowing and sniffing. Um, but there's just not much I can do. So time investing into myself is really essential for me this year. Another thing that I would like to invest more of my time in is growing my business, growing my music school. Um, so that's definitely on the list and high up there in the priority level. YouTube. I've wanted to start a YouTube channel for many, many, many years. I've been watching YouTube, I want to say since summer of 2003. So it's going on almost seven years now. I got sucked into the beauty community oh so fast. And um, I think a lot of my makeup shopping habits are thanks to YouTube. So now I'm turning to the same platform to help get me out of this mess. I can do a separate video on, you know, uh, wanting to start my YouTube channel and kind of the history of that. I don't think I'm going to get into it right now because this is really just meant as a quick little welcome and hello video to introduce myself, to welcome all of you to my channel, and um, just to finally get something out there and really push myself to continue on this YouTube journey. One other thing that I would like to do with my time this year is to spend more time with family and friends. For the past couple of years, I've been a bit of a hermit. I've had some life changes and um, just struggled a bit here and there. So I would really like to start turning things around and to start reaching out to friends I haven't been in touch with for a while, to invest more time into my closest friends and family and, and just overall to start getting myself back out there more and just start enjoying life. Health and wellness is something I would like to spend some energy and time on. I would like to start exercising regularly, even if it's something small. I don't want to uh, set huge goals for myself in all of these areas because I get overwhelmed really easily and uh, I tend to, when I'm overwhelmed, give up. So I would like to maybe just tackle uh, one activity, maybe do, you know, yoga a couple of times a week or something. Just, just start small and build from there. But regardless, that takes time. And... Um, effort. So those are all things I could be doing instead of browsing Sephora. And then the last thing I wrote down for myself is to read more. Um, this is something I've wanted to do for years, something I've been working on recently, and I have started a little bit, but I definitely would like to read a lot more. I apologize for the background noise. I live in an apartment building and in the lobby of my building there's always kids playing ball and screaming and running around and you know there's not much I can do about it and this is the only time I have to film today so we're just gonna have to plow through. The big question is how am I gonna accomplish this? This is a big task especially for somebody who has been shopping pretty much non-stop all her life. I did quite a lot of research. I've watched quite a lot of YouTube videos going into this. I have a lot of YouTubers to thank for inspiring me to do this and I will run through that at the end. But from everything I've seen and everyone who's given their suggestions after or during their new by years, the number one thing that everybody mentions is to set rules, to make sure that I have clear boundaries and clear rules of what I am and what I'm not allowed to buy and do 
So I will do a separate video on that. I will go through all of my rules and all my categories again and just write everything down and have this both on paper and on the internet so that I can also refer to it if I'm ever struggling in my year long project. Another thing that I've heard a lot of people recommend and something that I also have thought about is to avoid triggers. I know some of my triggers. I know for sure that watching YouTube is one of them, although I don't want to fully stop doing that, but I might have to scale back in you know certain types of videos. I know for me definitely, as I said, sales are a big thing, you know, clearances and sales. I just need to steer clear of certain stores and sales and just browsing and things like that. As far as things that are more emotional, because I know a lot of that stems from that too, definitely for me, one of the triggers is avoidance of things I need to accomplish in my daily life that I am scared of or that I don't enjoy doing and I'm procrastinating. So if I am working on something uh, administrative for my music school that I don't enjoy, I might put that off and go browse a website for a few minutes. Or if I'm overwhelmed because there's so many things to do, there are days where I just feel like giving up. So it, you know, acts like retail therapy. So th there's, there's a ton, ton of triggers, um, that I recognize even in myself already. And again, I don't want to get into all that right now, but for me, it's going to be definitely acknowledging what those triggers are, learning more about them, and then learning how to avoid them, how to deal with them, how to cope without actually giving in to that um, want of instant gratification of purchasing something and feeling good that, yay, I snagged the deal. And then the last thing I'm going to touch on today as far as how I'm going to accomplish this is accountability. And this is where YouTube and you guys come in. Um, I have, as I mentioned briefly, I think earlier, I have wanted to start a YouTube channel for a really long time. And, um, when I initially wanted to start it, I envisioned it as something very different from this. I really wanted to join the beauty community in a more, um, what's the word I'm looking for in, in a more active way of reviewing new products and, um, you know, uh, talking about new makeup and doing the favorites and the empties and those things I will still do. I would like this to be a blend of, you know, no buy challenge and some more traditional, I guess, uh, beauty type videos because I really have enjoyed watching that for so many years and I would love to participate in that. But um, I decided to finally do it now again, for many reasons, I really want this to be a year of change for me. I've already been going through a lot of changes in my life and I think I'm ready for some different kinds of changes. And I think that this channel is actually going to symbolize a lot more than just me not purchasing any more makeup. Um, and I think it's good that I'm doing it now as opposed to in the past, because I think that if I had started this channel a few years back, it would have probably pushed me in a bad way to accumulate even more stuff, to accumulate even more makeup and skincare than I already have. And that is kind of scary, <laughs> to be honest, because I have a lot. At least for, for one person, I have a lot. I might not have a collection of, you know, somebody who's been on YouTube for many years and has uh, brand endorsements and gets PR, but for somebody that is just a regular gal who enjoys makeup and skincare, I have way too much product. Um, so I, I need to be accountable and I really want my favorite platform for beauty and um, what kind of initially sucked me into this world to begin with to help me deal with this, to help me figure out how do I maneuver my love for these colorful, exciting new eyeshadows and lipsticks and kind of curb that to something that's more realistic to my life, that is more realistic for my finances and that doesn't make me feel overwhelmed and doesn't make me feel like I'm swimming in items I've never even got a chance to try or I don't get to use on a regular basis because I don't wear makeup every single day. My life just doesn't allow for that. 
Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm really hoping that you guys help pull me through this, that I make a lot of friends, that you will comment, that we will have conversations, that we will support one another. Um, and before I finish off this video, I just want to thank uh, a few people that have inspired me along the way to finally buckle down and get this first video up. Um, I think 2019 was definitely uh, instrumental to that because there were a few YouTubers that I discovered that kind of gave me that final nudge, that final push. Plus, I met a couple of people, uh, a few people in person when they came to New York. and. I don't know, somehow that personal connection of seeing people you watch online and putting their real personalities to the face and their voice really made a difference and really made me want to get to know more people that I watch. And I, I'm hoping that putting myself out there online will somehow make it easier to eventually form more bonds um, with all of you guys and you know people that are already online because I've loved makeup for a long time, as I said, probably about seven years now. And in my daily life, I don't have anybody that is as crazy about it, <laughs> that, um, that loves makeup as much, that is so excited by all the new colors and all the new releases. So this will be really fun for me. I'm hoping that the fun of discovering new people that are into this hobby like I am will actually pull me through it and I won't need all the new items in the privacy of my home to get me excited. I'll have other things to be really excited about. So I just wanted to thank um, Samantha March because I got to meet her in person this year. I wanted to thank Kristen Game, who I've met years ago in New York and who I've been watching for years. Um, I will link these people's channels down below as soon as I know how to do that. Um, I'd like to thank Angelica Nyquist. I'd like to thank Karen Harris. Um, these are all people I've met in person. Kelly Gooch, uh, Ashley Clady, uh, Makeup by Molly. And um, I actually got to have lunch with some of these gals when they were in New York for an Ipsy Live event. And it was just so special that they uh, let me into their inner circle of YouTube creators. And it was just so fun. Uh, to spend some time with them. I also would like to think of a few people I've never met, but they definitely have inspired me to start this specific type of project. And that would definitely be Tara from uh, Terrible Decisions and Hannah Louise Poston, who I believe, if I'm not mistaken, was one of the first people to ever do this publicly online in 2018 to start um, her YouTube channel solely for the purpose of doing a no by year. And now she's continued with other year long projects. So um, I think without those ladies and seeing their journeys and their process and progress, I don't know if I would have ever started because I think I gave up on the idea of having a more traditional YouTube channel a couple of years back. I just figured it's probably too late for that. There's too many creators who are doing this. Um, not that, you know, I don't know where this is going to go. This is now a personal project. And that's kind of what I want to thank them for, for um, convincing me that actually what I would like to do is just do a personal project and see where it goes. Just see what kind of friends I make and um, how this all plays out. And I really, I think, need to put myself out there and make this public so that I don't have the excuse of giving up on myself. I, I'd like to start believing in myself more. I'd like to stop being afraid of certain things. I'd like to just go for certain things this year, whether I succeed or I fail. So um, I hope you will come with me on this journey. I hope that we can support one another. I hope you will join me on some sort of a no-buy project if it's something you've wanted to do. Customize it to what you would like it to be and um, let's make 2020 our year of change. Let, let's do this, let's make it happen. I'm so excited and I cannot wait to meet you all, to chat with you all, and thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to follow me on this journey and um, 
there's something in me and my personality that you think you might enjoy, please subscribe. Uh, please stay and, and comment down below and like this video and just help me get started on this really exciting new thing that I am venturing out to do. So again, thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Um, um, uh, and I have some notes under me on, on, on my lap. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm extremely nervous to... Where? Well, I'm working on a year of... Where? Um, I... And write down all my rules and run through all of those with you guys. Oh, the joys of New York and car horns and living on a really busy street. Okay, let's try it again. After the fuel truck passes by.